welcome to my channel Fat to Keto. I've used a ketogenic journey, lifestyle, diet, whatever you want to call it, to lose 201 pounds. Almost 202, but we didn't quite get there yet. Close, but not close enough. I'm going to, since I do not upload on Sunday, I need to show you what um, I ate yesterday and what my weigh-in was yesterday as well. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And then talk about it for a second and then get on with you date. I'm having my first meal of the day. I decided to not try the keto bread right off the bat because I need to try and see if the ham and chicken I bought makes me go up in weight. I did wake up this morning at 167.8. My phone would not record that. So I did already go up more than half a pound from yesterday, but that was be to be expected because it was a higher carb higher calorie day which I'm doing on the weekend to see if it helps with my weight. It seemed to help me last week so we will see. Um, so I'm going to eat this real fast. It's using most of my carbs up. I'm going to see how this affects me tomorrow. I might eat some pork chop or hamburger meat later today because I still have plenty of protein and stuff left. I did decide to throw in three microwave bacons, throw it in a bigger bowl, and I went with one and a half ounces of shredded cheese. Now it's time to eat. Okay, we saw yesterday's weigh-in, um, which was not that bad, but um, let, let's, let's go ahead with two days. Keton 0.5 Blood sugar 86 145, I'm starving, so I'm having six ounces of pork chops that were air fried. If I'm hungry later, I'll have a little salad. I just don't feel like anything other than meat right now. We hit diet ketosis. As you can see, my calories were way higher than yesterday, higher than ever before. My net carb was 26, which is way higher than ever. My weight is up to 169 i know it's punishment for those net carbs it is punishment for those high calories yesterday it is water weight it is not fat people you do not gain fat in a night like that <sighs> what happened what happened is i ate that salad yesterday and i got horrible heartburn i'm not gonna eat that chicken again the rotisserie chicken it triggered something in me not only did i get horrible heartburn but I was starving all day, out of control hunger, which I have not felt all year. Like this was insane, out of control hunger. I would try my best not to snack or eat anything and I just couldn't think of anything other than my stomach growling. You could hear my stomach growling. I felt starving, so I ate a pack of my ranch wrist. Um, I ate uh, Quest loaded chips yesterday. I ended up eating a keto ice cream bar, which never messes with me, but I had issues. I ended up eating four whole bowls of ice with the Lacante flavoring on it throughout the day. Um, ended up eating some pork chops. Anything else? A few bites of a chop zero coconut bark, which always makes me go up in weight, even if it's a few bites. Oh my gosh, was I snacky. Oh my gosh, was I hungry. And I sucked at my workout yesterday. Like, I had no energy. Barely made it through the 45 minutes, and it was crap workout. 
It was a horrible day and I was perfectly fine until I ate that salad. And I've had the ham before and it's never caused that issue. But I do remember eating that brand's ch rotisserie chicken that actually had more sugar in it before and it triggered issues. I thought this one would be fine. Boy, was I wrong. I woke up starving too. It is two o'clock. I'm about to go eat. I'll show you what I'm going to eat in a minute, but the hunger has been unreal today and I've been fighting it. I have had one collagen coffee about 30 minutes ago. I'm trying to get whatever is in my system out. Like, I don't like to be the snacky girl. Like, that bothers me. It bothers me to hear my stomach growling and to actually be hungry because I usually only get hungry once a day. And that's when it's my meal time, my body tells me I eat, I get full, and then no more snacking. That's just it. That's usually I'm good to go. But holy crap, I was not good to go. Like, I don't, it had to be that um, chicken it is the only thing that I can think of that threw my snackiness out the window. I was good. I didn't go off keto, even though I do not like getting net carbs to 26. That is a very good progress for when I have these hunger issues. I will be honest, I was craving potatoes. I was craving like salty chips, all kind of stuff. Now I did just in case try this for the first time. This is solo water that's Himalayan salt. I shook it up to make sure I get plenty of salt in it. I only did two teaspoons because I've never done it before. Um, once I did this, I will be honest, my cravings um, for all this salty stuff that I was craving insanely died down a lot. I know people take about two tablespoons, but I've read a lot how it can mess up your stomach and to start off slowly. I diluted it in a little bit of water and just drank it down. It wasn't bad like I thought it was going to be. Of course, if I probably put the two tablespoons in it, that might be another story. But I think I had like a salt craving and I also had a sugar craving. It was like two cravings at once. So that's why I ate the keto ice cream bar, which I normally never have any issues with. But I was kicked out of ketosis. Did you see that GKI? 9.5 not ketosis this morning, which is not surprising me. And you know what? I haven't even tried the keto bread. I haven't gone near it. I think it's going to my freezer. Um, like, I didn't think I'm going near it for the next couple of days or so. So we'll see how long it takes to get this stupid water weight off. Also, um, I was watching again a bunch of videos and Remember how sometimes nightshades really cause me inflammation and I've been having some migraines and a lot of fibromyalgia for the last two months and I have really put um, tomatoes back into my diet a lot. So I might finish today's tomatoes or I might just give them to my dad because I think I'm going to lay off the tomatoes for a little while to see if that helps with the pains I'm having and also when I have inflammation going on in my body, it can stall my weight loss too. And last month, I really didn't lose anything. And I up my tomato intake drastically last month. Um, so we will see. We will see. Um, I'm doing a lot of ums. I know it's Sunday. I already have trouble focusing on most days. But when I'm out of ketosis, forget the focus. It is gone. Like... You're lucky I can stand here and remember what I'm doing right now. So I was upset about those numbers, but I was not surprised because of the 26 net carbs and eating so much that I normally don't eat. I think I got to like 16 or 1800 calories plus or something. I don't eat that much volume. I'm, I'm never hungry. Like it was really trippy for me and I didn't like it. And today I've been forcing myself to wait to eat. I'm going to go eat this meat that I'm about to show you. Um, I originally said if I got hungry later, I would eat salad. I'm not going to. If I get hungry later, I'm going to cook some more pork chops and I'm going to eat them. Um, and I'll allow myself to have some cheese and stuff. But I'm, not, I'm going to try to stay away from the carbs today, even the Quest chips, anything carby so I can get this craving gone. I'm gonna stick with proteins, cheese fats, 
um, my collagen coffees with my butter. If I'm dying, I this isn't that many carbs. I think it's like two per serving. There's two servings a bag. So if I ate this whole bag, it says it's five, um, well, four net carbs because it's cheese, right? So um, if I need a snack, I'm going to go for that, not the Quest chips. Um, and this is, yeah, I'm going to work out extra hard. But I will be honest, I don't know where those three pounds are right now that I've gained. Or two pounds. I've gained two pounds. I don't know where they are right now, the two pounds. Um, also, that time of the month is coming, so it could just be that. That could be why I'm snacky. I get very, very hungry, very snacky, lots of cravings. So, yeah. But I, I'm i not seeing it on my body today, so that makes me happy. Usually, I would see it right here. My stomach would start bulging over, and I would see the water weight and everything, but I, I, I don't see I don't see it today, so I am happy about that. That's a win. And I know it's only two pounds. So I've kind of been thinking um, in November. I was going to do it this month, but I think November. I might just weigh in once a week because I'm focusing so hard on the numbers on the scale that it's kind of driving me crazy. Like, I'm not going crazy, but, you know, when I – went up two pounds I was just like oh, my brain said I went up five but it didn't it's only two pounds only two pounds but I do have dyslexia so sometimes my brain is like oh that says like it switches the numbers and, and at first my brain was thinking I was 196 I was like oh, how did I go up that many pounds no no that was my brain playing tricks on me and that was not a fun moment when that happened first thing when I got on that scale this morning and my brain just switched it on me and oh yeah, that was yeah. <laughs> that was a moment that freaked me out and, and reminded me why I do keto because if I ever saw that number again, I probably would really freak out. Um, so I, that's yeah, cause two pounds. I, and I'm working out and I worked out sick yesterday. I was really sick yesterday, and I still push myself through it. I, and I know working out stalls me. Working out makes my weight go up. And I started it last month, and I only dropped a pound. A lot of people are probably like, how is that even possible? You're barely eating any calories. You're running off 3,000 calories. And I really am. Um, it just happens. You, it, it, that's why you can see all the cardio people work their butts off and still be big because your body just has some issues. I have adrenal gland issue. And, and, but this month is, and last month was about working out more getting stronger, trying to build some muscles, trying to tighten some skin. Do I want that scale to go down because I'm, you know, not that many more pounds away? Yes, I do. Do I want to get there and have no energy, no muscle, no strength, and really saggy skin because I just, because I'm really worried. I stopped doing the pool weights. I'm really worried that that will start causing some more flab down here. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to make sure and take care of all those things as I go um, because I really didn't do it the first two, half, three years. <laughs> my whole three years of my journey. Um, it's a new thing through the summer and I want to keep up with it because it makes me in a better mood and it helps with my anxiety. And if it's making the scale go slower, oh well, right? Oh well, because my anxiety right now is what matters because we're all kind of like trapped and going crazy in our own minds and... And you hear people say such negative things about people, whether you like them or not, if they're not a murderer and they're not a pedophile, and I see no reason to wish pain upon someone or death upon them or saying they got what they deserve. Like those things, when I read it, really bothers me. It really reminds me how evil people are. They can claim to be good, but they can be completely evil. Especially when they, they hope the person dies. Yeah, if they did not murder someone, and because I do have standards, like, like um, if you are a cold-blooded murderer or serial killer, you don't deserve to breathe. Sorry. Um, if you're a pedophile, you don't deserve to breathe. Sorry. There is no hope for you. Um, even chemical castration doesn't work. So, um... Yeah, I have no sympathy for those kind of people. And I don't think that makes me an evil person. That's just wanting evil out of the world. 
but when you wish death upon people that actually isn't evil, did not do any of those kind of things, that's another story. And I've been seeing that a lot. We won't discuss you, but I'm sure y'all all know what I'm talking about right now. And, and that bothers me. And I get it. There's evil people in the world. There's mean people in the world. There's people that doesn't have any form of God. Um, and I'm saying that because I do believe there's only one God. However, it's not my right to tell you whether or not your God is real or not. That's between you and God. Like, I'm not going to sit here and ever preach to someone, but I know what I believe in. And I believe there's only one God. Um, and I just believe right now in this world there's a lot of hate and evil because I don't think most people have all this hate in their heart I think it's the the evil seeping in and destroying everyone but that's all I'm gonna say I just know it's Sunday and I, I wish you know God could shine a light on everyone right now and bring some hope into people's hearts right now because there's a lot of hopelessness in people right now I, like I'm still shocked to what I watch and hear and see and I shouldn't be right because the world has a lot of evil but people you don't think has evil in their heart that that shocks you when you see it it's just like oh okay um yeah and then some people are dumb and they say stupid stuff just because they say stupid stuff like it doesn't mean they're evil they're just dumb and they talk stupidly I say stupid stuff sometimes. So I am going to shut up. And sometime this week, we are going to make our own puree, pumpkin puree. It's really simple, really easy. I'm going to record the steps. Um, I might just put it in the video all by itself. I don't know yet um, because I want to make some pumpkin stuff. I'm going to do, I'm, I think I'm going to freeze it afterwards because I really want it for November. And like Keto Diamond was asking about different recipes for Thanksgiving to stay keto. Um, well, I, I'll tell you what I do every year. So my mom usually makes the dressing that is not keto. It's made with cornbread and stuff. There's a lot of keto recipes for a cornbread type dressing. It's in a dish. It's like stuffing, but not like stuffing. And if the keto bread works for me, even if it doesn't, I would still... I'm, I'm planning on making my own dressing using some of these recipes. It calls for like pork rinds. Some of them call for almond flour. I have the um, cornbread flavoring extract already. Um, I can use this bread. So I'm planning on making my own dressing so I can stay keto because originally I was going to go off keto so I could have her dressing. But if I can find one that tastes pretty similar, that's what I'm going to do instead. I don't want to derail my weight loss right now or how well I feel. Also, um, deviled eggs. She makes deviled eggs all the time. That is perfect keto. Um, I make deviled eggs every Thanksgiving. Uh, of course, mashed potatoes are all my dad, not me. Um, I mean, I'm a Pinterest freak. Like, I have a Pinterest over there that you can go pray type in fat to keto and you can see keto, keto sweets, keto main dishes. I'm about to start one calling it keto Thanksgiving. Or I might have already started it. I don't know, I gotta go look. But I also do all different kind of stuff, hairstyles, all different little pens because I'm addicted to it. But um, I go over there, I read the recipes, I see what I can and can't have. I, I know from baking and different things I've done over the years, what works better together so I tweak the recipes usually and change them up seldom do I actually stick to the recipe the last time I stuck to the recipe the recipe didn't come out at all you also that pumpkin disaster bread thing it actually tasted good in the end it turned out to be a pumpkin cake but because it had so much erythritol I couldn't eat it I, it was making me so sick I cannot do erythritol um but yeah the, there is a lot of stuff like you can make a ham salad instead of baking a ham you can do a ham salad um i love to make the turkeys because it's perfect to make turkey salad afterwards um if you can have some onions celery you chop it all up with your favorite kind of mayonnaise and you shred it together and boom you got turkey salad for a week like at least we do because we always buy the big giant turkey so you can almost turn any side dish into keto like one of the things I do since I can't have, I make mashed cauliflower. 
And if I can't have potatoes, I do mashed cauliflower. And then later, the extra leftovers of the mashed cauliflower, I usually turn it into a loaded cauliflower dish um, for the week, stuff like that. Um, or you can just do a loaded cauliflower dish. You can also turn cauliflower into macaroni and cheese. Or you can get the miracle noodles and do a macaroni and cheese. There's tons of options we can all do for Thanksgiving. And I'm going to go over this in November so we don't all forget. Um, like I said, for Halloween, just in case I have a weak moment, my house is filled with all kind of keto candy. But usually I'm pretty strong on Halloween. It's a couple of days later that I usually have an issue, um, especially this year. I don't know. I'm supposed to be going somewhere on Halloween, but I don't know yet because my daughter started breaking down in tears, asking me not to go. And then she felt bad for asking me not to go because she's going to be alone and she wanted me to stay here with her and watch movies. And then she felt bad for and wanted me to go after all, but then she started crying in private. So I might not be getting to go where I want to go for Halloween because of, not because of her, but because I love her and she is having a hard time. And then she felt guilty and she cried alone. And, and I don't want her to feel abandoned when the world's so crazy right now. So, I don't know yet, and I can't take it with me because she has severe allergies and she can't make it that far. Driving that far, we'd have to pull up over every few minutes going up. She gets severe motion sickness, the meds don't work, nothing works. So, this mommy might have to be a good mommy and sacrifice some fun and happiness <laughs> to stay home and make her little 15 year old happy. Um, she kind of wants to just dress up and drive around. We used to go out to eat every year on Halloween. That's not happening. So she kind of wanted to drive around, get a coffee at Starbucks, be all dressed up, go and order some food that she likes, come home, eat, and watch the movies. So that might be my Halloween this year. I can't be selfish, mommy. I've you know, she's only 15. So, so I'm going to shut up, show you what I'm eating, and then uh, I'll let you see what else I eat throughout the day, and I will tell you if I do any exercise and have a little closing video because I've ran my mouth way longer than I thought I was going to. This is the side of the property I don't walk on that much because usually there's hanging spiders. I come through here when it snows. I hope it snows this year and I'll totally get my stabilizer and take tons of video. I have to be careful for falling trees too. And ticks. It's getting to be tick season. Like in the fall here, ticks are bad. I was trying to find one of my cats. They've been fighting a lot lately. So I've gotten about two mile walk in so far for the day. Um, or one mile. No, one mile. One mile walk. Still gotta do my exercises and stuff. So yeah, I know a lot of y'all, including my family, love like my hair and stuff, but I don't. So it's been really hard for me to film and see myself because I really don't like it. But now you out here in the sun, you can see there's like different colors, but they took most of my blonde away and made it like this yellowy honey color and stuck in a bunch of copper, but it's the haircut that I don't like. I can hear my daughter looking for me. Oh no, I hear her coming. And I was trying to hide. <laughs> 